Welcome back to Gulf Coast Fishing. This week we want to touch on a little bit of safety and a couple of species that you catch in and around the inshore waters of the Gulf Coast. They kind of go hand in hand. One of the species is the hardhead catfish. Now that is one of the two saltwater species of catfish and they are very very prevalent all around our waterways, our canals, our saltwater area as far as the beaches, the piers, and also around jetties anywhere where you find some salt water you're going to find in the inshore waters the hardhead catfish they are easily distinguished because they are dark gray on top almost olive and lighter silver on the bottom these fish are considered nuisance and they're not very good to eat according to many people on the other hand there is the other species the gaff topsail catfish the gaff topsail catfish is easily distinguished by their long fins that's why they're called gaff topsail the pectoral fins have long threads on either side and so does the dorsal fin. Now these fish are much larger than your hardheads, they fight better, and they're really kind of a tasty treat because these fish eat only finfish and crustaceans. So different than the hardhead catfish, which is basically a scavenger and he eats whatever he can find, the gaff topsail is kind of a nice prize. But both of these species of fish in their pectoral fins and on their dorsal fins have a very hard spike. And that spike is something that you do not want to get near with your hands or your body. They are very dangerous because they have a little bit of poison that when if it gets in your hands or any part of your body could sting for about 30 minutes or longer. So what you need is a dehooker. That is a device that you can find pretty much anywhere very inexpensive and if properly used you'll never have to touch any of those two catfish again. Those species of fish can be found anywhere in this area and they're very prevalent so be careful make sure you identify which ones they are and enjoy fishing here in the Gulf Coast of Florida.